I'm still speechless. But Harris, now that Dimes is with the Raptors, who are struggling at the bottom of the East as the number Mm -hmm. 12 team, what impact do you think he'll make on this team? Well, I think it all starts with what position he's going to play at. Like you said, you know, are we going to see him at point guard? Are they going to move Kenny to the two? Are they going to have Dimes at the two? Let Kenny continue to run point. The only problem is this, Autumn. They are in an Eastern Conference where the ticket is is a death march. I mean, you're going to have maybe the Magic, Gen G, Heat Check Gaming in the middle of this. Who knows? Maybe the Nets or the 76ers are going to be in the ticket as well. Like, the Raptors have an absolute just, it is going to be so difficult for them to make the playoffs even after this trade. But I do wonder, are they retaining dimes? Was that the point of this trade? We'll see, because they already have Kenny Timely and, and Type. That was the plan originally. We'll see how dimes fits in the middle of all this. I had a sense of Shane had something in the works because of the season that we had. And I feel like it was pressure behind him of, you know, making some kind of move to show that he's doing all he can, you know, to put us in the best position to win. Choosing a player like Dimes with his stature, uh, it, it was really all just about in-game and, and getting this team set up uh, to have a big push, you know, especially down the, the stretch here and then into the ticket. I think one time, uh, one of our social guys mentioned that, you know, he has a big social following and, you know, that might be surprising because we're, we're such a content uh, focused team over here. But but really, that was not uh, factored really in the decision making. It, it was all about uh, the in-game chemistry and his abilities. I was surprised with Donald's for sure, 110 percent. Like, I knew like a trade was coming, obviously, like we weren't playing good and I knew we had to switch up some if we wanted to make a run in the ticket. We all wish he would have got here sooner. But even like, I wish he would have got here like when he was traded because we had to play four games without Reese and Dimes. So I wasn't surprised. What I was surprised about is that I was coming to Toronto. You know, I didn't expect to be coming here before it really hit me. And I'm like, man, you know, I'm going to play with guys I've won money with. Got chemistry with, so don't really have to worry about that, which is, you know, it's like going to a new school. You got to make new friends, you know, and here it's like, okay, I'm going to a new school, but I'm with two of my other friends, you know what I'm saying, from my old school. Man, that drive, that drive was crazy. Cooped up in the car, you got to eat, you got to get gas, like, use the restroom, so it's a lot of stuff. So it's like 17, 18 hours, but it's really longer than that. I think the hardest part was getting here because you know, my whole life changed because being a, being in Dallas, you know, I've I've lived there for the last four, eight, four years. I haven't played there. You know, that wasn't just my team. I lived there for the last four years, ever since I've been drafted. We got this Nets versus Raptors matchup coming real soon, which means we got breaking news on the way. You already heard it first, but Dimes has finally arrived in Toronto. Okay, so we got that news confirmed. So let's get to the courtside crew. He's looking good. Okay, Dimes ready to go with that Toronto shirt. He's the first ever draft pick in 2K League history, and guess what? Now he's up in Toronto playing with new guys. What Shane would always say is, the games really don't change anything. Like, if we win these games, we're not automatically in playoffs, you know, something like that. So like, just have fun with it, you know? And in my head, I'm like, man, we about to flood them. Like. Who cares, like, who cares for Shane? So we about to flood them. <laughs> they're having a blast up there up north, baby. You see, they're moving, Dirk. Is this a season three Raptors or is it the season four? What's going on here? Dimes having a great game as a Raptor. Oh, there's that move we talked about. There's that move, there we go just to bring some new life into the locker room and bring him a different spark. I mean, this again, the most energetic that we've seen the Raptors uprising all year long. There And so, hey, the offense for the Raptors, if they're putting up this many points per game, hey, it could be scary for teams in the ticket. For him to be on our team, and like instantly I was like, oh, okay, this is what he does, like. I'm just thinking like my mind in season one, I would have never thought like Kenny Cook and Dimes on the same team. And then especially like me playing with them, like, I don't know, it was, I don't wanna say it was surreal, but it was just weird how fast like everything like changed. Like we went from Reese to Dimes, now these three together. Honestly, the vibes around going into the ticket wasn't the greatest, honestly, cause like everybody's frustrated cause they're not already 
in the playoffs, so like, it was a lot of tension going in because like I have the outside perspective looking in because I, I didn't play in the tickets. It was it was kind of tough, but I knew game day we would, we would come in with that energy and intensity to you know try to make the playoffs. This is it for 13 teams, y'all. There's only two playoff spots left for grabs. It is a best of three series, and if you survive in advance, hey, you will continue on, but losers will face the end of their season. Kenny and Dimes. Well, they've combined for 43 points here at game one. Let's see, this one's GG. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I didn't expect the Raptors to come on dominate the way they did. Expected them to probably win, but not in that type of fashion. So it'll be interesting. Well, it was a huge start. It was an eruption for the Heat to start this one. 17 to 3. Raptors came all the way back, and now the Heat has extended the lead to seven. But it's going to be the Heat forcing a game three. Timeout, timeout. Keeping their season alive. Damn, give us something. Hey. Let me get it. Look at that. We're straight. We want to win the game. They hit every shot, though. They hit three heavies. Game three, win or go home. So this time, Raptors get off to a good start. 20 points already in the quarter for Toronto with a chance to make it more. There's a lock. Hey, let's lock in on you right now. Big stop. Let's go. Hey, let's go. And just like that, the Heat have cut this to two. It was a 10 point lead to start the quarter. Under two minutes to play. Both teams with one timeout remaining. Type, no, they can't get it into them. And here comes the biggest possession of the ball game. And it's blocked. Josh blocked it, then he almost turned it over. And then he did turn it over. Miami up by four. Come on, four. That's it. Dimes. And it's a one point game. Both teams out of timeouts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you cannot give up a three, Dirk. I just foul him and give up the two points. Get down swinging, boys. I think regardless, Kenny and Dimes uh, need to be protected. Uh, these are you know, established point guards in the league. Um, they've got value, uh, whether here, you know, certainly in Kenny's case, he's here, Dimes will figure out, but they've got value. Uh, and so, you know, I think that obviously leaves uh, Cook and Type, and let's just call a spade a spade. We had our ups and downs with both of them this season. You know, in game specifically, I think out of game, everybody's really cool. And that was made clear to me in, in the one on ones. You know, the famous quote, you know, planning is invaluable, but plans are entirely worthless. We're not going to put a plan in place today that is going to be what we ultimately do next season. Um, but we need to go through this process constantly and be willing to update and adapt our plan. And I think right now the right plan is to protect Kenny, Dimes, and Type. Our Business Council, our Competition Committee, uh, certainly executives from both, both companies. So I had a really good sense coming out of the conversation with Kenny for what we should do with the roster, but as we just saw on the league call, everything's about to change and that's going to really affect what we do with our protections and our retainment.